Yesterday I showed you how to gain root access on the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus with Majisk. Not everybody likes Majisk though and they just want a simple root solution instead of having the whole Majisk Manager and Majisk Hide and all the Majisk modules. And then there's a lot of people that are just fans of SuperSU for their root solution. So today I want to show you how to root the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus with SuperSU. And to do that we first need to make sure that our phone has the bootloader unlocked and that we have TWRP installed. Those are the only two requirements that we have before we can begin. I also recommend that you create a Nandroid backup though ahead of time just in case something goes wrong. I'll show you as in this step-by-step -step process that any, nothing should go wrong but just in case it's good to have that backup so we can do a restore. So once you're ready to proceed we're going to need to download the SuperSU zip file. Now that file will be the download link for this file will be included in the full tutorial and you'll find that link below the video and in the upper right corner of the video in the card. Once you have the latest version of SuperSU downloaded, we're going to need to power off the Galaxy S8. So once the device is completely powered off, we're going to press and hold the power, Bixby, and volume up buttons so that we can boot into recovery mode, which again, this should be TWRP. Once you get into the TWRP main menu, we're just going to tap on the install button if you need to browse to where you have downloaded this which is usually the download directory go ahead and do that and then just locate the SuperSU zip file that we just downloaded go ahead and tap on that SuperSU zip file swipe these white arrows down at the bottom to the right to begin the installation and then just wait for the SuperSU installer to complete. This process shouldn't take more than a minute or two. And we shouldn't get any errors during the process. Sometimes there is an error or two that pops up but as long as the installer completes, then you're generally good to go. Just make sure you take a note here. This is our first boot into Android. It may take a few minutes. And it can also loop, meaning that you can also go through a reboot process during the boot process. So unless you need to do anything else in TWRP, which if you do, press the home button. But if you don't, just go ahead and press the Reboot System button. You can see we just got our reboot during the boot cycle. This won't happen all the time, it's just going to happen on this first boot up after you have flashed the SuperSU zip file. And that's completely okay. That's exactly how it should be. And now we are back at the lock screen. We can open up our application drawer and you'll see that you should have a SuperSU app icon here. We're just going to go ahead and tap on it to open. 
tap on expert mode no thanks and unless you get a pop-up dialog here that says super su is not installed then everything is done the way it should sometimes whenever you open up this application for the first time you'll be instructed to update the super su application and then you'll be you'll be given a button that will take you to the play store to update it But again, as long as you don't get a notice saying that there are no SuperSU binaries installed, then the whole process is complete and you have now gained root access on the Galaxy S8 or Galaxy S8 Plus with SuperSU.